Good morning, Steve Walski, uh, General Manager of Greenbrook Country Club again. I uh, hope everybody is doing well and holding up uh, as best they can in these uh, difficult times. Um, bringing you another recipe today. Um, simple, few ingredients, um, so I thought you'd like it. Uh, bacce di gamma, uh, they're called. Italian little mini cookies. You'll see how they come together. They come together pretty quickly uh, as well. I have uh, some flour here, about three and a half ounces of, of flour, uh, two and a third of ounces of sugar, half a cup of uh, hazelnuts uh, that have been toasted in the oven, 325 degrees for about um, 15 minutes, just depending on your oven, and a little salt. Uh, very simply, we're gonna add uh, all the ingredients into my uh, food processor here. Um, hazelnuts, sugar, And salt. So this will come together in the food processor. No need to even uh, scrape down the bowl, it's uh, pretty dry, so it'll come together easily. This is the dough, so you can take a look at it. Fairly, um, just like a flour consistency. Um, so now um, we're gonna cut in some um, butter, which I have chilling in the refrigerator. Um, six tablespoons of butter cut into about half inch uh, pieces. I'm gonna throw that into the uh, food processor as well. Let this all come together and uh, until it forms a little bit of a dough. So this dough came together, um, so I'm just going to knead it on the uh, on my countertop um, until it forms a nice little uh, cohesive ball. Uh, then I am going to press it into an 8 by 8 uh, square into a pan um, and then put it in the freezer for about 10 minutes um, so the butter uh, chills back down again. Because um, then we're going to cut it and roll it into uh, into balls and bake it in the oven. So the dough has just come out of the uh, freezer. It's been in there for ten minutes. Uh, I took it out of the pan. I'm just going to flip it over, take off the uh, parchment paper. So we're going to cut this into uh, sixty-four squares. So we're just going to cut it. Uh, Half, 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 everything else in half. It's the easiest way to do this. Should spin this around, but I think I can wing it. Not perfect, but uh, we'll make it work. So now you have to take each one of these balls uh, and form it into a ball in your hand. Okay? Um, then we'll line them up on the, um, on the sheet pan and bake them in the oven. So I'll come back to you uh, after I have that all finished. So to show you what I was doing, um, there's 32 uh, balls that I've been kind of rolling. And just to show you the technique, uh, you gotta just kind of press them in the palm of your hand a little bit, and then uh, just roll them out into a little ball, and then you'll place them on the, on the sheet pan. Um, so I'm gonna do another sheet pan, and I'll be back with you. So I rolled out uh, all 64 uh, cookies, and I have one now in the oven. So they're in there for about 20 minutes. 
rotate them after 10 minutes. Only do one pan at a time. Um, and in the meantime, I'm gonna melt some uh, bittersweet uh, chocolate. Just, uh, just not too hot, but uh, just melt it down a little bit and then let it cool down. And that's gonna be uh, our next step once these come out of the oven and cool down. So here's the um, chocolate I just have over a small pot of uh, boiling water. Um, and uh, that'll melt down and then we'll uh, show you the next step in a few minutes. So here are the first batch uh, that came out of the kit, uh, out of the oven. Um, they look uh, pretty good. And then I just put the other uh, batch in the oven. So the first batch of cookies are um, ready. Um, and I've melted some, uh, some chocolate here, bittersweet chocolate. Um, I've inverted uh, every other row of cookies because we're gonna put a dollop of chocolate on the ones that are upside down and then top them off with the others. Um, so I'll show you a couple and then we'll, uh, I'll come back to you. About a quarter of a teaspoon on each one. Top it off with the other one. They may roll around a little bit, but they'll, uh, that chocolate will solidify up and they'll hold pretty good. Um, obviously these, these uh, the hazelnut cookies have um, cooled completely before you do this, obviously, or the uh, chocolate will never melt. Um, so I'm going to continue with these. I'll take the next batch out of the oven and I'll show you the, uh, the finished product. So the first batch is done. Um, chocolate is solidified. Uh, they look uh, pretty, uh, pretty good. I think they came out all right. Maybe all the sizes aren't perfect, uh, but I did the best I could. I'm a home, home cook, so uh, can't expect miracles. Uh, the best way I think to have these is with a little espresso which I'm going to do. So uh, stay healthy, stay happy, and stay at home. Uh, let's get through this together. We'll be back with you with another recipe. Take care.